Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi everyone, coming up today discussing the future of the San Juan Generating Station, a promotion at Navajo Ministries, concerns about a stubborn livestock virus. We'll head out to fish the San Juan and get ready for the final TGIF concert in downtown Farmington. I'm Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you on this Tuesday. TriCityNews.tv is coming up next. I would encourage you if you're on the on the fence about thinking about hosting, you've thought about it in the last few years and haven't done it, step up and do it this year and, and, and find out what those blessings are about. And, uh, there's lots of people that will help you. Uh, you know, if, if with that hosting, you know, you'll have people that will help you if you, you know, can't be there every day for every little function. But go ahead and just step up and do it and, and, and make it happen. Connie Mac players need foster families now! The Navajo Nation Environmental Protection Agency will host a public open house and stakeholders meeting on Thursday, August 9th to provide information about the regional haze dispute over federal EPA standards at the Public Service Company of New Mexico's San Juan Generating Station. The discussion includes information about the dispute and retrofit technologies available to cut down on regional haze. It will begin with an open house at 10 in the morning with the first public meeting running from 1.15 until 4 in the afternoon. The second meeting will start at 5 and last until 8 o'clock at the Ninanizad Chapter House in Fruitland. Navajo Ministries Development Director Eric Fisher has been promoted to the position of Vice President of Navajo Ministries, which is a non-profit organization based in Farmington. Fisher received the promotion during the July 26th Director's Meeting for the Ministry. Navajo Ministries was founded by Jack Drake back in 1953 to provide services to Navajo children in need. It's now grown to include five programs, the Four Corners Home for Children, the Navajo Ministries School, the Counseling Center, KNMI Vertical Radio, and Navajo Nation Outreach. The organization has also been involved in a major capital campaign called the Navajo Heritage Center Project. That includes an education center. Fisher spent 20 years in the newspaper business before joining Navajo Ministries in September of 2008. He's a 1987 graduate of Eastern New Mexico University president-elect of Farmington Rotary, the co-chair of the Four Corners Conference for Professional Development as well. Congratulations. The Mexico Livestock Board has passed an emergency rule to reinforce the state's efforts to contain an outbreak of vesicular stomatitis in livestock. According to the board, the move will hamper interstate movement and trade of livestock. It passed with the beginning of fair season because it's this time that moves thousands of livestock animals from the ranch or farm to fairgrounds. And sometimes these animals are exhibited at more than one fair. The rule states that all livestock events should designate a veterinarian to inspect all inbound horses, cattle, pigs, sheep, goats, llamas, and alpacas. The Texas Hole Charity will host the second annual San Juan River Invitational Fly Fishing Tournament this Friday and Saturday at Navajo Dam. Twenty-five teams consisting of one professional guide and two amateurs will compete in the tournament. Texas Hole Charity President Jeff Holcomb says all the proceeds that are raised by entry fees during the tournament will benefit the Wounded Warriors and the New Mexico Cancer Fund. Last year, roughly $38,000 was raised to benefit Wounded Warriors. The goal this year is to raise around $50,000. The Farmington Downtown Association and Parks and Recreation Department announced the final TGIF Music and Lunch in Orchard Park this Friday from 11 until 1. The free outdoor concert will feature music by The Porch Lights and food from Three Rivers Eatery and Brewhouse. Selections include green chili cheeseburgers, hot dogs, and pizza. Another mostly sunny day across the Tri-City. Still a chance of a shower, though, Tuesday and Wednesday. For tonight, partly cloudy with a chance of a shower. The low tonight about 65 degrees. We have a 30% chance of a shower on Wednesday. The high Wednesday, 91 and a low of 63. Partly sunny skies again on Thursday, another 30% chance of a shower, the high 93 and a low of 65. On behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching TriCityNews.tv. And remember, you can now watch San Juan County local news whenever you want, on your computer, cell phone, or tablet. It is always right here, ready for you, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you for watching. See you back here on Wednesday. Marketing used to be easy. Your 
You'd spend a boatload of cash on advertising, cold calls, trade shows, and direct mail, and watch the leads pour in. Now, folks are bombarded with a gajillion and one marketing messages every day. The worldwide interweb is transforming how they shop and buy. And there's all sorts of ways to block out the messages you're trying to get through. So, yeah, the whole outbound marketing thing isn't doing the job all by itself anymore. Today, you also need to concentrate on getting customers' attention through inbound marketing, which means blogging, tweeting, social media-izing, SEO optimizing, and a bunch of other newfangled strategies. There's all these new methods and tactics, and they're all disconnected from each other. So you've got this site for one thing, that site for another. You need this platform for that thing and that program for that other thing. And now there's 50 different things to do in 50 different places. And it seems like figuring all this stuff out takes a rocket surgeon or a, a brain scientist, plus an extra 80 hours in the week to do it all. So what do you do? You know, since you're not a rocket surgeon. Majestic Media understands how daunting this brave new world can be, so they did something about it. What they created will make your marketing way more powerful and, well, easier. Majestic Media has pulled together the best outbound and inbound marketing experts in the four corners and consolidated them into one spot, giving you a centralized, easy-to-use, unbelievably powerful marketing resource. So you can advertise on billboards, magazines, newspapers, webcasts, TV, and radio. You can blog, Facebook, tweet, optimize, capture leads, and be a feature on your customers' mobile phones. Basically everything, all through one place. Majestic Media and their team of experts have all sorts of resources, tools, and tricks to make you a marketing genius, like instantly. You'll be able to get your message to every local market and beyond. No more calling one place to design your stuff, and then another place to print your stuff, and those five places to run your ads, and that other place to work on your website, and trying to figure out what the heck Facebook and Twitter is all about. With Majestic Media, all your marketing is in one place, with tons of people and several companies, all working on your stuff. Yeah, Majestic Media is that marketing secret weapon you've been waiting for. So, make your marketing easier and more effective with Majestic Media's all-in-one marketing system. Schedule your free consultation today.